Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Andrew McGrath. Today I'm going to be taking a look at and reviewing the Fox playing cards by Ekaterina from Ecat Magic. Now real quick, before I get into reviewing and taking a look at these cards, I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Ecat uh, for sending these to me. Uh, this is such an amazing gift and blessing uh, to me. Thank you so much for taking the time to send these out to me. I uh, look forward to making videos with these and this video right now. If you're not familiar with Ekaterina, she's a female magician that has been doing magic ever since her early teenage years and has really made a really big name for herself in the magic community with her magic reviews, her magic tricks, uh, cardistry and cardistry tutorials, uh, really making a huge impact uh, on the cardistry and magic community. Uh, you may have seen her on many different magic shows like Wizard Wars and Penn and Teller Fool Us. Uh, and it was really just an honor for her to uh, send these to me and a great privilege. And I um, can't wait to get into these, check them out. Uh, thank you so much Ecat for sending these to me. I'll also be leaving a link to Ekaterina's YouTube and Instagram down below. So be sure to check those out and give her a follow. She really, really deserves it. All right, and now on to the review. Ekaterina sent me these cards uh, exactly for the purpose of making videos with them and that is exactly what I plan to do uh, starting now and I plan to make much uh, more content for uh, these cards on Instagram and YouTube uh, so look forward to much content coming with these. First want to point out that Ekaterina did send me two decks, one sealed and one that she opened up and signed as you can see here beneath the cellophane, I hope it's focused here, it says Ekat right there, which is really cool. So cool to have a signed deck like this. Uh, I'll actually scoot this sealed one aside and we're gonna take a look at this sealed one. Also, if you're wondering how dark red uh, this red is, uh, I actually really like it how dark red it is and I'll show you a regular bicycle for a comparison uh, in, in the reds. Just your regular standard bicycle deck compared to Ecat's box playing cards. Just so you know, if you ever see me leaning over like this or that, it's to make sure that the camera is in focus. First off here on the top, it says Ekaterina. Then you'll notice on the front, wrapping all the way around to the back, there is the picture of the fox, uh, which continues all the way around. And if you angle the cards uh, just right like this, you can get the full picture of the fox. Or if you had three decks, you could set two like this with one in the middle completing the picture. So like this, that, and like that would complete the picture of the fox. Uh, but it's a really cool uh, thing that they did with this deck. I really like when decks have a picture like that that travels around. Uh, you may have seen that design style on the Memento Mori decks, uh, Lonely Wolf, uh, Lost a Deer. There's a couple decks that do uh, that with the design. Then on the other side, it is just blank and red. On the bottom, you just have regular playing card ad copy. One thing you'll notice about the seal on these cards is there is none. There's no seal, but there is uh, this half moon shape that is black. Uh, and I'll give the reason for that in just a second when I open these up. So you'll notice there is no seal, but the deck does go black where the seal would be with this half moon uh, black shape here. When you open them up, you'll notice that the inside is black and on the flaps it is black. Uh, and the reason that she did this, she said, was because a fox lives in a hole and holes are dark. And so this is supposed to be like the fox hole, which the fox playing cards live in. You notice the entire inside of the box is black. All right, here are the cards. Here is the back design. Before I get into it too much, again, I will show you a regular bicycle for reference to the redness. Uh, so this is something I really like with playing cards. I really like dark reds on a deck uh, Like one of my favorite decks is actually the theory 11 product red just for the darkness of the red and I really Really like it. This deck is thin bordered and printed on premium crushed stock So it is the standard bicycle stock, but crushed if I am correct. It is premium crushed stock Also, this is a thin bordered deck uh, which is something I really prefer in playing cards. A thin border gives you more room for stuff like spreads and fans. You can see more of the deck, whereas when you have thicker borders and you do a fan, all you really see is white. Uh, but the one thing that she even mentions in her video reviewing these cards uh, about having thin borders is that there is more room for play. Like you, more, you might see that there is um, 
more border on the left side than the right over here. Uh, but it's not really a big issue and you can see that most of the other cards are more even and that's not as much of a problem with this card here because this is a double backer which is included in the deck and then what you'll see the next gaff card you get is a blank card but not only is the face blank but the back of the card is missing the boxes so there is really so so many uh, really cool tricks that you can pull off with just this deck for the boxes uh, missing uh, so a lot of really, really cool stuff that you could do with that. And I'll, I'll be sure to come up with a few tricks I could do and probably put those on my Instagram. Uh, be sure to check that out in the future. And I'll give you a closer detailed look at the back sign. You can see it is the fox here mirrored on both sides. And this is a two-way design, so it's not uh, a different fox uh, as far as I'm aware. The cards spring great right out of the box since they are uh, crushed uh, and so they already have a little bit of flex in them. Next up we have the two jokers which was some really cool artwork done for Ekaterina. Uh, this is Ekaterina, this is what she looks like. This was cool hand drawn uh, images of her that were placed onto this deck. I think they turned out really great uh, and I, I really like when magicians uh, put their faces on cards uh, such as like Cure Gomes, Rise Magic, and many others, uh, but I think it's really cool when people put their face on a deck and it really lets you know like this is their deck and I think they look pretty cool. Alright, moving on to the Ace of Spades. Here on the Ace of Spades you will see that it is a more bold, classy looking uh, spade pip here in the middle, uh, which just says Ekaterina in the middle of the card. I really like the way that looks. I've got a couple decks recently with the more bold Ace of Spades like that. I think it looks uh, really nice and much more classy. Next thing I want to mention is that this deck does come in Mnemonica stack, which I personally have never learned. Uh, and so uh, I was just kind of confused with that when I opened these up because I myself never took the time to learn Mnemonica stack. So for me, they just came shuffled. I definitely want to learn Mnemonica Stack and probably should have before getting these, but the deck does come uh, in Mnemonica Stack. If I'm correct in her video, she said it is not completely in Mnemonica Stack, but there is like one step or cut that you will have to go through to get it into Mnemonica Stack. Uh, so she sets it up uh, in a way that is super easy for you to get into Mnemonica. Mnemonica is a type of stack used in Magic uh, so that you can remember the places and uh, different areas where cards are in the deck by number, uh, if I'm correct, although I have not learned it myself. Another thing about this deck, it is traditionally cut, uh, so different decks will be cut either down or from the other side of the playing cards, giving them a different feel and different handling, and these are traditionally cut. They definitely feel different feels like one of my older decks of cards uh, compared to uh, a newer cut. So they're super smooth, can still do everything like thumb fans just fine. They can pack it, yet they're still flexible right out of the box. They handle great, they're snappy. You can hear what they sound like in a shuffle. Like. One thing you'll notice about the red pips on this deck is that they are the same red that is used for the back, which is slightly darker than a standard red playing card pip. As you can see here, compared to a bicycle and a Katarina's deck, much darker. As you can see, much darker, and it matches the back design. So here is a King of Diamonds from a Katarina's deck and from a bicycle deck. As you can tell, they are exactly the same, but this is the Katarina's deck and this is the bicycle deck. So the pips, uh, and the court cards are going to be identical besides the red is going to be slightly darker like as you can see here on the axe and on the pips. So the only difference in this deck as far as I can tell uh, is going to be the darkness of the red. Now I'll get into how the cards handle. 
hold up during some cardistry. Since these cards are traditionally cut, they farrow incredibly easily, uh, which I really like in a deck of cards. All right, so there you have it. That's the Fox playing cards by Ekaterina. I think these look and feel great. I wanna thank you so, so much, Ekat, uh, for sending these to me. That was a, a really, really kind thing of you to do. Great blessing, uh, really helpful to me and my channel. So thank you so, so much. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really, really like these cards. Thank you so much, Ekaterina, for sending these to me. Uh, it's really cool. I can't wait to make more videos and some content with these. Uh, I got a really cool card shoot video coming soon with them, so get ready for that. Uh, yeah, lots of cool stuff happened on the channel lately. I've had some cards sent to me, and I'm having some more. Making some video for the slow hands playing cards. Uh, more of that coming soon. Uh, I just want to, again, say thank you so much, Ecat. Uh, this is just really cool for you to send these to me. Uh, I'll be sure to be doing plenty more with these, so get ready. And also, if you have not heard of Ekaterina, I'll put a link to her YouTube and Instagram down below. You need to check her out. She's got some really, really cool content. Cardistry, magic tutorials, reviews, uh, some really great stuff. Check her out on uh, Penn and Teller Foolish and other stuff that she's been on. Uh, it's just really cool. Thank you so much uh, for sending this to me. Uh, I hope to make you proud with some more future videos. Also, I know a few of you have been asking about when will I do another cardistry tutorial. There will be one somewhat soon or possibly in the next one to two to even three months. It could be longer, but there will be a cardistry tutorial coming soon, uh, somewhat soon, on the Electric Hornet YouTube channel. I'll leave a link and the, in the description to the Electric Hornets channel. Also, I might throw one up here somewhere, uh, but soon there will be a tutorial uh, where I'll be featured on his channel and I'm sure we'll do it vice versa so go ahead and subscribe to the Electric Hornet uh, so that you'll be ready uh, to watch that tutorial when it comes out you don't want to miss it all right with that I will say thank you so much for watching this I will see you all in the next one goodbye and God bless <laughs>